These are the muscles uh, demonstrated on the half head model. Let's begin at the front. We've got the frontalis muscle on the frontal bone, which joins to a apneurosis or tendinous sheath running back to the occipitalis muscle. Then we have a muscle of chewing, the temporalis muscle on the temporal bone. Um, that actually is going to run down and attach to the jaw and help with chewing. But our biggest chewing muscle is this large four-sided muscle going from the zygomatic down to the mandible, and that's called our masseter muscle. The masseter muscle is the largest crushing muscle. It's going to do most of our heavy chewing. And there's a muscle on the side of the neck. You see it actually running forward here from the um, skull behind the ear. This is called the strap muscle the SCM, or sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle has two bellies, anterior going to the sternum, a little posterior to that going down and attaching to the clavicle, hence clido, and then masto comes from mastoid process of the temporal bone, so sternocleidomastoid muscle. Let's turn the head and look at muscles of the face. Around the eye, we've got obicularis oculi. Obicularis oculi is a sphincter muscle, so when that muscle contracts, you would be squinting your eye shut. Below that, coming off the zygomatic bone, we've got the zygomaticus group of muscles. Inferior to that, and deep, we see this muscle on the inside of the cheek. That's called the buccinator muscle. And the buccinator muscle, buccal means cheek, and that muscle helps hold food in your mouth while you're chewing and manipulating food. On the corner of the mouth, the angle of the mouth, going back, we've got this rhizorius muscle. The rhizorius muscle, when that contracts, it's going to cause the corner of your mouth to rise. It's going to pull it back so you'll be smiling. Hopefully you're using that a lot. Then you're going to see below it a triangular shaped muscle. This is called the triangularis muscle, otherwise known as the depressor anguli oris, oral for mouth, and depressor because it pulls down anguli on the angle of the mouth, depressor anguli oris. There is a muscle a little anterior to that, which attaches to the bottom of the lips. You'll see it here. It's a little bit more of a four-sided kind of muscle. You can call that muscle the quadratus for four-sided. You can also call that the depressor labi inferioris muscle. And then finally, the last muscle is going around the mouth, just like the eye. This is called the obicularis oris muscle, the muscle circulating oris, the oral or mouth.